the gospel is a reminder for all of us that we are all called to follow the Lord. But the description of the disciple is that we do not only follow the Lord. We follow the Lord with joy. We follow the Lord with happiness. Ang tunay na tanda ng isang tagasunod ni Kristo ay masayang sumusunod. Maraming sumusunod pero masungit. Maraming sumusunod pero malungkot. Maraming sumusunod pero akala mo pinagsaklo ba ng langit at lupa. Maraming sumusunod pero parang bawal gumiti. The gospel for today reminds us we must follow the Lord and serve the Lord with joy. Ang totoo, ang gospel po natin ngayon ay hindi lang formula sa pagsunod sa Panginoon. The gospel for today answers the question, Do you want to be happy? But then, who does not like to be happy? Parang wala namang kwenta yung tanong. Kasi lahat ng tao gustong maging masaya. Pero bakit hindi masaya ang lahat ng tao? O bakit kristyano na, pari na, o obispo na? Bakit hindi masayang sumusunod sa Diyos? Mayroong tatlong payo ang Panginoon na hanggang ngayon ay hindi pa natin talaga sinusunod. The first instruction of the Lord, carry nothing. Carry nothing. But we are afraid to carry nothing. Can you go out of the house without money? Or if you die and you leave nothing, parang nakakahiya. But the Lord's mandate is clear. Carry nothing for the journey. Because your money is not your happiness. Because your career is not your happiness. But the Lord asks by saying, carry nothing, not even your mistakes. Because your mistakes, even if you correct them, are not the source of happiness. Your mistakes are not you. Your money is not you. Your popularity is not you. What people say about you is not you. How people criticize you is not you. Carry nothing. How did the Lord show His greatness? With nothing in the tomb. Walang bangkay dun sa libingan. And when they saw that there was nothing in the tomb, that is the greatest glory of God. And when Jesus was nothing in, at Calvary, that was the height of the glory of God. Hanggang ngayon, kasama ako, hindi pa natin talaga nasusubukang Walang dala. Sapagkat pinanghahawakan natin pera, sikat, koneksyon, impluensya, pinag-aralan. Carry nothing. But the second instruction of the Lord is, but then, after letting go of everything and carrying nothing, you're still supposed to carry something. So the second mandate is carry something. What is that something that we must carry? Only one. Awa ng Dios. Just carry the mercy of God with you wherever you go. Just carry the conviction na hindi ako pababayaan ng Dios. Just carry the belief that awa ng Diyos is how I am. At kung ilalaglag ako ng awa ng Diyos, wala rin akong pera, wala akong hangin, wala akong pagkain, wala akong mundo. Carry nothing, but carry something, only something. And that something is the mercy of God. Always remember that the mercy of God has not been tested until now. 
And if you believe that God will take care of you in His mercy, then you're going to find happiness. But there will come a time when your faith will be tested. There will come a time when you will get sick and be persecuted. There will come a time when you will be rejected and people will not listen to you. There will come a time when you will be ridiculed for doing what is right. There will come a time when people will mock you sapagkat sira-sira ka. Akala mo pwede pang gamitin yan. Sumusunod ka sa Diyos, tingnan mo nangyari sa'yo. Naghihirap ka ngayon. Wala kang koneksyon. Mukha kang talo. What is the third reminder of the Lord? The first, carry nothing. The second, carry something. The third reminder of the Lord, I will carry you. I will carry you. Sagot kita. Huwag kang matakot. That when we go forward, old age cannot disturb us. When we go forward, sickness cannot touch us. When we go forward, problems and difficulties will not disturb us. Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing trouble you. Because God is more than enough. And God is all we need. I say it again. 2,000 years after Christ said His words, until now we have not really tried it. And until now, we are still sad. Until now, we are still afraid. Until now, we are still anxious. Let us follow the Lord and follow the Lord with joy. Carry nothing because everything is nothing. When you have everything, then you start to understand all of this is nothing. Because I am lacking something, and it is the Lord. Carry nothing. Do not put your trust in money, on popularity, on connections, on career, not even on persons. Do not carry your happiness trusting only in your capacity for effort. Carry nothing. But carry only something awa ng Diyos para sa iyo. And when times become difficult, let the Lord whisper to your soul, I will carry you. I have imprinted your name on the palms of my hands. Do you want to be happy? Carry nothing. Carry something. Let the Lord carry you.